Happy Sunday, everyone. I hope you're going to have a fantastic day. But as we work our way into the next couple of days, there's about a 20% chance that the immediate coastal areas, especially the Cape Hatteras or the Outer Banks locations, could have a little bit of uh, tropical storm force winds to deal with. 39 mile per hour winds are greater. So because of that, primarily the coastal waters are under a tropical storm watch. And this means that within 48 hours, tropical storm force winds are possible. Not land affiliated with this tropical storm watch, it's just the coastal waters. Otherwise, though, if you have plans on getting in the open waters, especially at the beach, there is a high risk for rip currents out there. That surf will continue to build possibly up to seven feet before the day is done. So it's dangerous to get in that water. If you're going to make it a beach day, just lay out or just kind of play some beach volleyball or something of the sort because, again, the water, we're looking at really high surf and, again, that dangerous rip current risk. Winds today anywhere from 10 to 15 miles per hour out of the north and east as we head into tomorrow. Anywhere from 15 to 20 mile, 25 mile per hour winds stronger near the coastline. And as we head into our Tuesday, more of the same winds possibly getting up to about 25 to 30 miles per hour, gusting up to 35 as we head towards Tuesday morning before Jose moves away. So expect some breezy weather over the next couple of days. Not as much wind, though, as you move inland. And then as we head on into Tuesday afternoon, as Jose moves out, the winds switch, switch to the northwest, and it'll just kind of back bend, sort of speak, to about 10 to 15 miles per hour. So with the northeast wind over the next couple of days, we're looking at a minor tidal flood threat for Monday evening and Tuesday mornings high tide time. So just be mindful of that in case you are going to uh, in case you live in an area prone to tidal flooding. As far as the rainfall potential, well, for today, just a few showers are possible. We are dealing with a few showers kind of rolling in out ahead of Jose um, coming in off the water since Jose's circulation has taken over. So everything's moving from east to west and then towards the south and west. And as Jose gets closer, some of the outer rain bands will start to impact our area. Not everyone getting wet, far from a washout, but a few showers can't be ruled out with Jose being so close. Same scenario as we had on into early Tuesday, but with them pushing further towards the north, I think the rain chances will be more hit and miss, more so isolated as we head towards Tuesday, especially by the afternoon. As far as the seven day forecast, by Wednesday it's all over with and we get back to summertime, technically, with those temperatures getting near 90 and then behind a cold front Wednesday evening through early Thursday. We cool it back down to near 80 by Friday. Have a great one.